Okay, so we've talked about Michael Jordan, and of course now we have to talk about one of the greatest players in the game today, LeBron James, also a five-star camper. Uh, tell us about his experience at Five Star from your standpoint. Well, we had a um, we had a league there called the Development League, and that was uh, uh, rising sophomores and rising freshmen, rising sophomores, and the reason we had that was we didn't want even the best rising sophomores. We wanted them what we call pay their, pay their dues. We don't want them in the NBA dominating, doing any of that. Mm -hmm. And just so everybody knows, the NBA was a division. NBA was the top league. Then mm -hmm. we had an NCAA, and we had what we call the NIT. That was for the rising freshmen and rising sophs. But every once in a while, in the beginning, we'd get a great rising sob, and he would totally dominate. We didn't want him playing in the NBA. We wanted him to pay his dues, work his way up to the NBA at camp. So um, we had this league going. It was a uh, second week in Pittsburgh, a third week. Third week in Pittsburgh was the development league week, and we'd recruit the best rising sobs we could get. And one of them came along, was named LeBron James from, from Ohio. And um, he's playing the first day. I'm watching him play. Now, had you ever seen him play no, prior? To, okay. No, prior to the camp, no. No, he's in the development league. And uh, I'm watching, and I don't believe what I'm watching. This, this can't be a sophomore. It's ridiculous. He is totally, he's doing to the, to this development league what Moses did when he was in the NBA killing everybody. So I went over to him after the first day I, I took him aside and I said LeBron, we have a problem. <laughs> uh, you are too good for this league. We're moving you up to the NBA. And he he was uh, LeBron James was a man at the age of 15 years of age. He says to me, oh, Mr. Garfinkel, please don't move me. I love my team. I love my, my I love the players on my team. I love my coach. I had a ball today. Please don't move me. I said, well, can you, you in good shape? Can you play four games a day? Because each kid played two games a day. Can you play four games a day? We'll keep you in the development league and move you up to the NBA. You play in both leagues. Oh, okay, that's good. We'll do that. So LeBron James played five days. He, he played the most games in the history of the camp. He played like 16 games, counting counting the playoffs. I don't know how many, 19 games he played. Within how many in days? five days. Four games a day he played. Dominated both leagues. Dominated the NBA and the development. And now we got a problem. Which all-star game do we play him in? <laughs> so we played him in the development league. All-star game, he was the MVP. He was, uh, he was uh, off the charts. And uh, because of the AAU business, at that time, we did not get him back. Gotcha. Did not return, but uh, he's the best mm -hmm. young player in the history of the camp. Are you still in touch with any former five-star campers who are currently in the NBA right now? Uh, occasionally, uh, uh, the best I'm in touch. I try to stay in touch with the greatest lead guard in the history of the camp, which was Chris Paul. Mm. Uh, Chris Paul Chris Paul won uh, five, five trophies as when he came as, a, uh, came as a junior. I didn't even know who he was. Came as a junior, played in the NCAA returned as a senior and was the best guard ever in the history of the camp. Wow. Went home with five trophies. Uh, MVP and MVP, all-star MVP, uh, best playmaker, best defender. He was he was tremendous.